Welcome to our holiday glam evening here. My name is Margaret Lampkin, and I um, I like to call myself a guide to gorgeous, and I want to make you gorgeous tonight and feel gorgeous. <laughs> but I have been building my Mary Kay business and uh, sharing this, these amazing products for over 25 years. It is just crazy that I say that, but it is true. So anyway, I'm excited to share um, how to get this eye to look like this one. <laughs> And I'll share the colors that I have on and all that good stuff. I got inspired to wear this um, this color. So maybe for the consultants, take a guess as to what lip color I have on just for fun. Let's see who gets it right. <laughs> um, OK, Jen, I'm going to pass it over to you, my amazing co-host here tonight. Yes. Well, I came on with my just daytime. So she's all glammed up. She's going to finish the look. This is like what you might come home as, right? So how do we glam this up? But first of all, because you know, I don't want to put on makeup and then just have to go remove it. So I'm going to remove what I have now before I do our awesome glam makeup that Margaret's going to teach us on. But if you have not seen our eye makeup remover, oh my gosh, y'all, you have to have this makeup, eye makeup or not. <laughs> this is like cleanser for your eye area, super hydrating, oil free, takes away waterproof and wa non-waterproof and you shake it up to activate it. You literally pop it right onto a cotton pad. And this is like one of my favorite things to do every single night. And then I, I come home and I remove the makeup off my eyes. And I, you can see I just hold it here. I don't have to pull rubber tug on my eyes. And I just kind of put, get, make sure that gets in my lash line there. And as I pull this off, you can see the amazing piece of art. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? That Gosh, comes just... off. <laughs> I love and that. Removes that. So I just had to show you guys how awesome and effective this is. And then I'll go up to kind of clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to take it off of my other eye and follow along as Margaret is teaching. So you guys can see what it looks like to kind of do it raw following her instruction. And then she's going to make that second eye match. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For sure. So awesome. Thank you, Jennifer, for sharing that. Everyone needs that oil-free eye makeup remover in your life. That is just a must have for sure. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right in um, so that we can complete this look and show you kind of how quick, fast, and easy it really is. Uh, but it goes without saying for sure that um, we always have to take care of our skin, right? Our makeup game will never be a 10 if our skincare game is only a two. So if you have not gotten together with your beauty consultant recently, because the seasons change, right? Um, definitely check in with her for kind of a checkup facial, um, maybe try some new products. Your skin might be drier than normal now. So make sure to check in with her because that really is the foundation literally, um, of uh, having that great skin to making your makeup look amazing. So with that being said, I do want to um, just have share, uh, Jenna share just briefly, like what is the benefit of having a Mary Kay beauty consultant? Okay. So I love this because I get to be this for all my amazing clients. But um, the benefit of a beauty consult, having a, your own personal beauty consultant is that one, you have a skincare advisor at your fingertips. <laughs> so anytime that your skin is going through just a weird thing or something, you have somebody reach out to as a resource um, that is trained and um, knowledgeable about different products and common occurrences that may come up with skin and be able to give you um, great recommendations. We also so use our own products so we can tell you from our own genuine and authentic experience um, what has worked with us and with our other clients as well. Um, but also like you're going to have the best service. So, you know, we can really tell you what's going to be great for you. We're going to get it to you quickly. Um, especially right now with all the supply chain things, like you're not going to have to wait very long for your stuff. You might even get it same day um, from your consultant. Um, and we care about you and we care about just you and your life. It's not even just about the the product. It's about who you are as a person and what it does for you. And um, making sure that you have a friend in us regardless that's just looking out for you and um, what you're capable of and rooting you on just as you go through life together. So I think those are the biggest benefits. Those are 
amazing yeah. benefits. <laughs> you just made it sound really good. I think that's awesome. Um, yes, it really is a, a pleasure to uh, to be a beauty consultant and to um, be that go to person that uh, that we get to um, just share our knowledge with. So um, I do want to share briefly here just before we pop into the eyes here. So if you actually have samples, um, feel free to pull those out if you haven't done so already. And what I wanted to do is just share this screen. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So can you see the screen there with our customer mm -hmm. cash giveaway? Can you see that? Let's see. Hopefully. <laughs> I yeah, mean, we yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, I'll we take can. it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hundred dollars for a customer and a hundred bucks for a consultant. So we want to hear in the chat. Go ahead and just type in there, like, what would you do if we just handed you over a hundred dollars tonight? What would that be? What would that be? What would you spend that money on? We want to hear what that would be like. And we're going to go ahead and just invite you to come back this Thursday, literally two nights from now. We're going to be doing this drawing live. Um, on our uh, on our Zoom that we have. So we'll make sure to connect you with that with your beauty consultant. Um, and when you are there live, you actually get an extra entry into the drawing. So um, highly recommend uh, you take the moment to, uh, to join us. And uh, it would be so cool to have your name drawn and uh, for you to be on live with us. So just for coming on tonight, just by the way, you actually get an entry into this um, drawing. And if you're a customer, your consultant, um, that's why we want you to tag her name. She gets credit for you being here and that puts her into the drawing as well. Okay. So <laughs> Elizabeth, more Mary Kay. Yes. 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 <laughs> Okay. So fabulous. We got all that stuff going on. Now we need to get our eyes going on. So um, I always start with eye primer. So I don't know if Jenny, you have yours handy, but um, I have mine here somewhere <laughs> as I was doing my other eyeball. Where did it go? Oh, here we go. Okay. So eye primer, this is absolute must have. Okay. Um, eye primer, what this does is it actually helps your, um, eyeshadow last. Okay. So if you, um, are going to be out partying perhaps, <laughs> then you want to have it lasting all night long. So I literally just dab a little bit of eye primer all over my lid. So that's what I'm doing here. And the other reason why we love eye primer is it gives something for the color to adhere to. So that's how it gives it its lasting power, but also the colors stay truer. So what you see is what you get when you use an eye primer underneath and just a tad bit goes a long way. So that's what I have here is just a little dab of that just to get it started. Okay. It also so helps I, you have creasing too. I totally don't know what I did with my primer. <laughs> that's all right. Like that. But you know what I do have? That's a great alternative. We have our amazing makeup finishing spray. Mm. And before mm -hmm. I do makeup, I can shake this up and just spritz my face. And this will just help set it and be a good base as well. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yes. Good, good, good. Okay. So eye primer is a must. So we got that down. Check. Okay. So now the base color, I always recommend that your base color, this is just the first color you're going to put um, from your lash line all the way up to your brow should be a matte color. So I'm going to use blossom and I believe that's what Jen is going to use too. So yeah. go ahead and Get a little bit of your blossom there. Now, my my um, makeup look tonight was actually created just before we hopped on. <laughs> so I was just inspired and uh, kind of put one together. So I'll tell you which colors I'm using. Um, Jenna, however, is she is actually going to uh, be showing you one of the looks that's featured in the lookbook. And is it called Glitter and Glow? Jenna? It is. It's called Glitter and Glow. So Glitter if you have not already received your winter lookbook, um, mm -hmm. you will be getting that soon. But you can also find this on your consultant's website as well. Yes. So, so um, perfect. So I put the blossom on. Now, the reason I did matte and why I believe it calls for that, um, that base color is just because you don't want to shine underneath your eyebrow. That's going to just not look good, especially in photos. So if you're on camera or if you're, um, taking photographs, you do not want to have this be all shimmer underneath your brow. Okay. It's just not very complimentary. So we want to make sure that that's all matte. So now we have that base. So then the second color 
that I'm going to use is actually called Cashmere Haze. And this is another matte, um, but don't worry, you know me, I will end up with two shimmers on my eyes <laughs> for sure. Um, so I'm going to use the cashmere glaze and where I'm going to put that is actually in the crease. Okay. So I'm going to get a little dab of my color here. Now these are called chroma fusion eyeshadows that we carry. They are literally life proof, which means, you know, they will weather all day for you and uh, they just stay on. They're amazing. So really, really good um, staying power with these colors. So I'm going to get my like mirror out here too. I know. I was like, I need to look them up. <laughs> so I'm using the wedged brush. Um, this is called the eye crease brush because it goes in the crease. Mary Kay is so smart. <laughs> They're like, keep it simple. The eye brush puts your eyeshadow in the eye crease. And what I'm doing is just dabbing it in there. Now notice, um, this was a trick I've shared before. You want to do this with your eyes open, looking in the mirror. So that way that crease when you're looking up, you have that shade there that's creating that crease if you don't have one. And then it's um, just kind of enhancing um, the crease with the color with the other. So that was the little trick that I learned actually not too long ago. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So I have cashmere haze now in my crease. So there we go. Jenna, how are I'm you I'm using Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose on mine. And I have hooded eyes, so I'm going a little higher than my crease. Mm hmm. Perfect. 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 So, all right. Doesn't it already kind of look like, okay, we're, we're alive. We're alert. We're getting holiday here just with those two <laughs> colors. <laughs> so blossom for me and, um, and for Jenna for our base. And then we have dusty rose on Jenna for the crease. And then I have cashmere haze. So, um, the next color that I'm choosing is actually going to have some sparkle and that's going to be the, um, smoky quartz, smoky quartz. And I don't often wear this color. And so I was super excited to be like, Ooh, I'm going to try something new and different, um, than I would, than what I normally wear. And this smoky quartz, what I'm choosing to do is to put it on my lid right here. And that's just to give it a little bit of sparkle on the lid. And, um, it's just, it may be kind of hard to see in the camera, but it really has a nice, um, what do you call it? Like iridescence to it, which is kind of fun. So what do you have on next Jenna? So I'm using granite, um, mm -hmm. which is kind of a, a silvery shimmer. And I'm kind of taking that as an accent to my corner and, and into my crease is what I'm doing on that. Beautiful. So I don't know if you guys notice, but for me, what I'm doing over here is um, when I'm going on the lid here with that shimmery color, I'm trying to keep it kind of light because it also helps to keep your eye color to pop if you have this area right here a little bit lighter, um, in my personal opinion. But there's some fun, smoky ways, you know, to smoke out your eyes where it's pretty, um, pretty intense with the color. Uh, I don't know. I just like the, that shimmer and it kind of, to me, makes your eye color pop a little bit better. Um, but the main thing I wanted to share with you is that I was pressing this color onto my lid. Okay. So whereas I was kind of going a little bit, almost when she, windshield wiper in the crease. You can do that there, but on um, the lid, it's best if you just kind of press the color so it just stays right where you want it and um, just stays true there. So that is um, uh, smoky quartz for me on, on my lid there. So, Hey, I'm starting, I'm starting to match here. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So what's next for you, Jenna? Um, well, so I did blossom as my base, dusty rose as my crease, granite as an additional kind of crease and accent. Um, so just to recap, if you're following the colors that I'm using, and then, um, at this point I would be doing a, a highlight. So I would be picking kind of that brightening shimmery color for the lift and highlight. So for that, I'm going to use crystalline. Um, and I actually just like Margaret just said, um, I, I like to do kind of the shimmer, lighter shimmer on my lid. And I actually like to use my finger when I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. um, so I just have the crystalline and I'm just patting it um, mm -hmm. on with my finger. And it's just kind of brightening that up. So crystalline is kind of like a very light gold. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So I'm going to do that on my lids. And then I take my, where is it? I love this brush. It's so cute. My little eye smudger brush. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that crystalline. And that's where I'm going to go right in the corners to kind of just brighten up and open up that eye as you can just see what that did. And if you're trying to add a little lift to my brows, because my brows are not twins, they're sisters. And this one's a little flatter. So I always make sure that I do a little highlight just right under that arch there. And maybe just a little less under this one. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So where Jenna uh, just put that crystalline, I'm actually kind of just going to go on the inside here with gold status. And the reason I'm kind of doing a two-tone thing tonight um, with the smoky quartz is a little bit more on the silver side. Cashmere haze is kind of a, a muted gray. Um, but I also have this new shirt that I got and I just, <laughs> it kind of has a little gold, gold uh, uh, shimmer to it. So I thought, let's just do a little two-tone. I would not normally like pick these colors, but it's fun to try. But um, you guys know how much I love Moonstone. That's like my favorite little eye color pop here. But um, this is gold status. And so I'm kind of just doing that same thing just right around the, the eye there. And it just kind of gives you a little bit, again, of that like dimension and stuff and a little bit of that openness, which we like for our eyes. So that's what I did with the gold status. So that was my next color that I chose. Um, all right. So Jen, are you ready for liner and mascara to finish up? Our I look am. Here? I am. And Angela asked, is that the trick for hooded eyes? I'm guessing Angela, you were referring to the crease where I was putting my crease color. Yeah. If you have hooded eyes, your skin kind of overlaps a little bit, like folds over at the crease. So there's no point in having, you know, you don't want to get the, the eyeshadow kind of building up in the crease there. So I do it a little bit higher because otherwise you wouldn't see it. It would just kind of disappear in that crease. So Exactly. But yeah, I'm totally ready for liner. <laughs> okay, well, I'm using two liners, just FYI. So I'm going to oh, use the liquid. I'm going to follow you then. <laughs> I'm going to use the liquid because I love it. And um, this pen is amazing. And I just know that uh, it's it's the bomb. So just saying. Um, and then I'm going to use the our, um, our mechanical pencil. Uh, and these are, by the way, uh, waterproof very water resistant, if not waterproof. So um, smear smear resistant, of course, smudge resistant, uh, but they do last all day long. So I love that. So I'm going to use um, black and then also black <laughs> as far as the colors goes. So what do you have there, Jenna? Um, I have the same ones that you do, but I was debating. I was like, okay, I can do the black liquid because, you know, if we're doing like holiday or New Year's, maybe you want the bolder lash line. But I also have blue eyes and I have the deep brown here because mm. brown makes blue pop a little bit more. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. I think I might just do the brown because I haven't done this one in a while. So <laughs> like the deep Go for brown. it. So do you have a technique in lining your eyes that you like to do, Margaret? Well, actually, what I've been doing as of late um, is <laughs> I've been using the the pencil um, kind of on. I go from the bottom and I brush the pencil onto the um, what you might call it, the <laughs> the lash line where the eye um, the eyelashes come into the the lash line there. So you're kind of, you're not going like underneath, but you're trying to get to the base as best as you can. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes what happens is you put the liner on and it kind of looks like there's like little gaps in between where your eyeshadow or your eyelashes are. And um, that doesn't, uh, I think, look that good. <laughs> and we want to make sure that it's got this smooth line. Right. And so that's why I tend to do that versus going on top with the pencil. So that's just my my take on that one. Um, if I was going to really do a dramatic eye, see, I did kind of dramatic on the lips. So I'm still kind of trying to keep the eyes, you know, sparkly, but yet not too, too much. Um, but the uh, I would actually line underneath as well. Um, mm. But that's just like if I was going super dramatic. So um, that's what I've got going on with the the uh, the black mechanical pencil. So how's your yeah. deep, deep brown looking? I love Ready. it. So I went ahead and I got that really close to last line, as you mentioned, and did about one third under. Mm -hmm. 
But then I went ahead and I took my, um, what do they call it? Your eyebrow eyeliner brush. I, this is mm. one of my favorite brushes that we come that we have. And mm. then I went ahead and just kind of smudged that a little bit, but then brought it out to do a very um, subtle uh, wing right here. So. Ooh, pretty. She's doing the wing. Um, so you guys, if you like doing the cat eye of any, um, degree, whether it's, uh, just defining the eye, or if you do kind of the extreme, um, very dramatic, very, very cool, um, cat eye look using a tip, um, like this, our waterproof, uh, liquid eyeliner pen, it's kind of like a felt tip and it makes it so much easier to do that type of line. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do my the top of my lid, but I'm not going to do any wing on mine in particular, just to show the little difference between the two. And also, too, I don't know if, Jenna, your um, technique is this way, too, but I kind of just do like little strokes across the eyelid that mm -hmm. way. You know, you don't feel like you got to get the line just right. You can just do like little tiny ones. And with the felt tip, it's so much easier. Just kind of it lays on the eye. So um, it makes it so much easier. Did I say that yet? <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys can see, but now as I'm close to the camera, because I'm using a brown, you can see more of the blue pop in mm -hmm. my eyes. Yeah, I, so, can, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Pretty. <laughs> Pretty, pretty. Okay. Um, so let's see. Anything else we need to do shadow wise? I think we're good. Um, so we will um, make sure to post in the comments uh, with this video here. We'll post the names of the colors so you guys have them and have access to them um, in case you wanted to write them down and, and uh, mm -hmm. you know share with your beauty consultant. Um, which ones are you're really liking and everything too. Uh, but we can't finish the... Um, look without <laughs> mascara and yeah jenna jenna goes full bore with the eyelash i got a curl uh, man <laughs> i i can't do that i don't know why but it's hard look at that look that. wait which eye did i do i just did this one <laughs> i don't know if i can see the angle it's like such a bigger like curl just from that one little <laughs> i need it all right so we have um someone commenting shine hello everyone and no gaps so shine who is your consultant um let us know who your consultant is happy to have you <laughs> angela's scared <laughs> of eye curlers <laughs> yeah they're I not too, bad Andrew. they're not bad um there's a few different techniques but once once you do it a couple times and get the hang of where you you do it it's super easy i could do it blind um and Chelsea, loving all the techniques. Yes, lots of techniques. I'm actually going to go in with my eye primer or lash primer, that is, um, because I think if you're going to be going out late at night yeah. or at any kind of party and I don't know, I don't know, maybe you're dancing, it's getting hot, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to keep your mascara on, right? No running or just to protect your lashes. Mm -hmm. Um kind of give them a nice coating so that the mascara goes on more flawlessly and easier to remove later. Um, and this conditions your lashes too. I always do that first. And then I'm going to use our awesome Panorama mascara Ooh, that I'm yeah. with. So this has a special applicator tip um, with these little like bristles right at the end. So you can really get every single lash and fan them out. And I love it. And all our mascaras are water resistant as well, water and humidity resistant. And then we do have one formula that specifically is waterproof. Um, so lots of options. Yeah. And what I put on was the ultimate mascara. So this is just kind of my go-to. And yeah, if I'm taking more time, I definitely, definitely difference when I use the lash primer and when I don't, but on a, you know, a day where I'm doing things quick and faster, transitioning from work to, to, uh, to play. Um, then I, I don't take the time to do the eye primer or the lash primer, but I will just say, yes, it makes a huge difference though. So definitely take the time if you can to do the lash primer. It really does help, um, for sure. So yay. I love that. Look, your eyes are coming alive. Yes. Margaret. So if you were already had your eye makeup on, about the whole day you're working and then you just have like a couple quick minutes 
to just boost it a little bit and go right into something more evening. What, what would you do with your eye color? What's one thing you would do with your eye color? And what's one thing that you would do with your mascara? Mm. Well, with my eye color, what I would do is just, uh, well, I would pick another color and you guys, I, I just, you know, if I was doing that for real, I would just pick another color. That's a little darker shade than what I was wearing during the day. Um, and just put that in the crease and that will just make a world of difference. Um, but mm -hmm. taking one shade darker, I would think, um, would be good for the contrast for the eyeshadow. And then, um, I like just now you guys, I had mascara on this eye already. So I just did another layer of my ultimate mascara on top of, of my lashes. So I literally would just do that. And it just like, Ooh, um, makes it, uh, makes the eyes pop just from those two things, literally. So a little darker shadow, put on a little bit more mascara, another um, layer, and you're good to go and freshen up your lips too. Did anybody <laughs> guess what color lipstick I have on? Oh, yeah. I don't know if anybody guessed. Uh, Jenna, where are you at with your look? I think, um, uh, do you want to just mention what cheek color is in that look? I know we're- Yeah, and that. you know what, guys? My camera makes these look more muted. I definitely, these are vibrant, like Margaret. <laughs> I need a different camera, but, um, but yeah, so I, I colors, I'm doing blossom, dusty rose, granite, and crystalline for my cheek color. I actually did some juicy peach, um, mm. very light. I'm not a bold cheek color person. though. <laughs> so, um, but I did juicy peach just slightly. And for my lips, I'm excited to show you guys this. So we have our special fall lip kits that are still available. So talk to your consultant if this interests you. Um, but you have a matte liquid lip color, and then you actually have a lip oil. So you have three different lip looks in this one kit. If you're just going natural, you can just use the oil and use that to hydrate your lips. Um, but this one is the rose pink. And I'm, that's what I'm wearing right now. So I'll just show you just a quick layer on top of this. Um, but it definitely, like, this will last. Give it a sec to dry and stuff. And then this this stays pretty darn well. And then at night, if I just wanted to change it up a little bit, or if I just prefer glossy, I can go ahead and do the lip oil right on top of this. Mm -hmm. And now it's this beautiful, shiny look. Mm, it feels so good. And I have to say, like, this lip oil, I really mm -hmm. pray that the company comes they out with this, like, yeah. regular line, like, just the oil. <laughs> yes. I love this stuff. Yeah. So we so, have this available in the rose pink and in cinnamon, which is more of kind of right. a neutral, um, kind of, uh, what would I, like a burnt sienna almost color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both very, very pretty for sure. So um, the rose and the cinnamon and dun, 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 the lipstick that I have on is, mm, well, I know what color it is, but I was going to apply a little bit more. Yeah, this one. Um, nice. Beautiful pink right now. <laughs> so this one is Appleberry. Ooh, I know, right? Very pretty. This is and definitely my go-to holiday red lip color is the Appleberry because it's not too like, I mean, obviously it is very um, dramatic. However, uh, it's just a different, it's a cooler uh, color of um of red for me. So I like it versus more of the orangey red. This is more of a bluer red. So right. I just, I love this one. So that's my go-to. So this is Appleberry to finish up my look. And I do have shy blush on my cheeks, just FYI. Yes. And tip on the lip colors, y'all. If you guys are looking for extra white teeth, doing something that has that hint of blue in it, like those cool colors, like Margaret's Appleberry, those I kind of give your your teeth a little brighter white. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go party. You ready, Jenna? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go out. I just change change this up, put a little something on. I'm I'm ready. So, um, if any of you have a survey from your consultant and, um and you were doing this session um, to really learn about a lot of the color, make sure that you fill that out and send that to your consultant so that she gets credit. That's super helpful. Make sure that you've also tagged your consultant in the comments so that you get credit for being here. And, um, and we can get you into that $100 
Cash for Christmas drawing for being on with us tonight. So you have to have commented and make sure that you're tagging your consultant to get that credit. Um, I will say Melva asked, what do you do to make your eyelashes pop? So Melva, I don't know if you're asking about a specific, like me or Margaret specifically for what we just did, or if you're asking just in general. So, um, but I can tell you for me to make my eyelashes pop is definitely the curler. I, I definitely curl my lashes. Um, and you really just have to decide on a mascara formula that is for what you want for your lashes. So let your consultant know if you want lengthening, if you want definition, if you want volume, if you want all three. <laughs> and she can kind of help guide you for that, for what you want for your lashes. But I would say curler and a good mascara. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed it, picked up some new tips and everything. Definitely let us know in the comments if there was something that you learned tonight that maybe you didn't know before about applying eyeshadow or any other questions you have about our products. Please, please, please go ahead and put them in the comments and we will be sure to get back with you and answer those questions. So thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you and happy holidays. It's December almost. <laughs> All yes, right. Plan your look for the holidays now and let your consultant know so she can get it to you in time for the event. She all right. You up. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thanks you guys. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> Bye. Bye.